in this part, we're going to talk about introducing yourself. And most years, or some years, I kind of used last year's or previous year's versions of this, but I thought I would just go ahead and make a new one. Uh, so introducing yourself, it's one of the things that you have to do at LTC. And during this introduction, there's a few things that are really important. One of them is your dress, okay? Notice I am wearing a single colored, solid color shirt. That's because when you're interpreting, you don't want to have stripes or stripes or plaids or uh, beautiful bright flowers, you know, you know, white dress with beautiful red roses all over it or something along those lines. Because realize that you're communicating through the person's eyes, not through their ears. And everything in front of them is coming through their eyes. So if you're wearing stripes or plaids, it's, you know, after a while the eyes just get exhausted. And as you see the hands fly across the, the, the uh, printed shirt or printed blouse or printed dress, it just becomes mind-numbing. It's hard to focus on the hands. And if you do, you just get so tired so quickly. So, dress in something solid. Your LTC t-shirt will be acceptable, okay? Uh, we decided a long time ago that uh, the LTC t-shirt, regardless of how it is printed, uh, is going to be acceptable in signs, okay? Now, if you just came in from drama and you're still got your blood running down your lip and the black eye, you may need to wash your face. If you're a girl and you've got those fluorescent like uh, fingernails, you might want to tone them down a little bit. If you're wearing all kinds of bangles, put them in your purse. Uh, the idea is to make it easy for your hands to be seen. An introduction is where you get to do something only you can do one time, and that is make an first impression. So when you come into the room, make sure that you come in with an air of confidence. If you come in and you're kind of looking at it and your eyes are this big as you see all those people out there, not going to work well. You have practiced this. You know this. You know you can do this. Okay? So come in showing that you know that you can do this. One of the, the most important things about being an interpreter is developing a certain level of trust with the person listening to you. They have to trust that you know what you're doing. You need to show that you know what you're doing. Once you walk in, you'll be asked, you know, say, okay, Ready? And you say, yep. And you'll say, hello, which is like a little salute. It's not crisp. It's not standing at attention going, yes, sir. It's just a, hello, my name, okay? My, just a hand against the chest, name, two H hands, really, one tapping the top of the other. My name is, and then you finger spell your name. <clears throat> there will be another section on finger spelling. I'm not going to go through the old ABC stuff. But when you finger spell, it's really important that you are clear more than in fast. You can finger spell as slowly as you need to finger spell to be able to communicate. So if you can finger spell that quickly, you're doing fine. Okay? If you're not that fast, you're still going to be fine. I have seen many, many who have practiced their names so many times that they go, and I just spelled my name, all right? You couldn't read that. I couldn't read that. A deaf person couldn't read that, okay? You need to make it to where it is readable. Uh, after you introduce yourself, it has to be finger spelled your name. You will say, I 
will be, okay, point to yourself, I. Will is a hand kind of passing past your ear. Will, B is the letter B coming off the chin. Signing or interpreting or singing whichever word fits in that spot in your mind as to what you'll be doing, okay? Because you will either be signing or interpreting or singing the song. So let's say I will be interpreting. I will be in I will be interpreting on bended knee. Okay? And notice that I fingerspell the name of the song. It's important that you fingerspell the name of the song. Uh, and lastly is the number. Your your number. Now you can put the number at the end and say, I'll be signing or interpreting whatever song, and my number is one, two, four, nine. Okay? Or you can do it right after you're introducing your name. My name is whatever, and my number is whatever. And if you can't remember your number, it's okay to look at your at your uh, name tag and go. 1047. All right. All right, and that's the introduction part. It takes almost no time. It's the fastest thing that you'll do there, and you need to practice it. So many times you get so focused on the song that you forget to practice the introduction. So I encourage you to practice your introduction. And if you don't know how to finger spell, um, I will probably not be creating a new finger spelling video this year, but there's plenty of them out there on the website. So just pick one of them. They all kind of show you the same thing. And I have found that I always say the same things and make the same jokes. So uh, the only thing that changes is me. I tend to shrink and grow more on the grow side. And uh, the beard tends to go this way. But whatever. Anyway, uh, look forward to seeing you there at LTC. If you have questions, please feel free to give me a call. Text me something on Twitter. Uh, you you know, there's a whole bunch of different ways to get a hold of me. You can get a hold of me through the website if you need to. Anyway, good luck. Hope to see you there at LTC and hoping you're having a great time.